In this video, we are going to take an updated look at the process of storing models into the Retopo Models Palette or the Sculpt Models Palette. There is a difference in the Sculpt Workspace. The models that you save and store in your Models Palette will be triangulated. But here in the Retopo Workspace, you would typically want to store low polygon quad meshes. So what I have here is a, a Retopo mesh with different layers. And as I go, I can store these so that I can access them later. And so for example, you can see the left engine. I can just drag that into the models palette. You might not see it in the default layout. So what you can do is go to the windows menu under panels, and then just go to the poly models panel, click on that, and then you can dock it wherever you like. Before we proceed to drag the layer into the palette, we first want to line up the object the way we want to see it in a thumbnail. For example, this three quarter view might be best. It's worth mentioning that this is actually a change previously in 3D Coat 4.9. This was a bit tricky because many times when you would drag and drop the model into the palette, it would be facing a different direction. It would be facing an arbitrary axis. And now it will simply use the camera angle from the viewport. With that stated, let me go ahead and get started by going to the right side of the layer. When you see the little move icon, you can click and drag it right into the palette and see the new thumbnail. If you want to access the object at any future point, all you have to do is click on the thumbnail. However, I just want to mention one side note that's very important. If you already have a model in the scene that shares the same name, then 3D Coat's going to put the new copy into the very same layer. One thing I can do is change the name or delete the existing layer first and then click on the thumbnail. With that stated, I can actually clear the mesh on this layer so this one comes right back in and replaces the old one. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll just click here to remove that. Now when I click on the thumbnail, the mesh comes right back in where it was when I stored it. All I have to do is hit apply or the enter key and it put it right back in the old layer. Let's now look at the sculpt workspace. You can also access your models from the activity bar under the models icon. What you see here are default subfolders as well as project folders created over time. I'm going to go to the Windows menu under Panels, and I'm going to go to Sculpt Models. I can leave the panel stationary in the viewport or drag it to my preferred location in the column. To create a new subfolder, click here, the three little dots, and choose Add a New Folder. Then name it accordingly. I have since changed my mind about the location of the panel, and I'm going to move it down below the Sculpt tree. So in the sculpt tree, this object is on this layer. The process here is exactly the same. Let's go to the right side of the layer, click and drag right into the model's palette. At this point, it's going to ask me if I want to decimate it, and the default value will be 50%. If you don't want to decimate it, you can just put it at zero. And you can scrub till you see the value that you want here. Let's make that 75% and then hit OK. You can see that it used the camera view to create this thumbnail. That's going to conclude this look at storing models into your Sculpt Models Palette or your Retopo Models Palette. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.